In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about testing your hydroponics solution for commercial hydroponic systems. Today we're down at Bayberry Fresh with Hayden Christensen, and he's gonna walk us through what he tests for, the ranges he shoots for, and how he manages those different variables. So um, tell us what you test in your system. So I test uh, both pH and EC uh, with the meter. I check the pH and EC once a day. I shoot for a pH between 5.5 and 6.5, but I don't change more than 0.5 in a day. And I shoot for an EC, uh, depending on whether it's winter or summer, between 1.2 and 2.0. For those of you that aren't familiar with pH and EC measurements, EC is a basically a measure of the salts in your water. It measures how much nutrients you have in your system at any given time. And pH is just a measurement of acidity. So you're measuring uh, how many, how much nutrient, how, how many nutrients you have in your system, and how acidic your system is. So tell us how you, how do you raise or lower EC? So EC, uh, if I need to lower it, you just have to add some fresh water to raise it. I'll do a fertilizer addition of a certain amount depending on how much I want to raise it. Great. And pH? pH, I use. Uh, you never have to worry about it going up. Um, you always have to worry about bringing it down, so I use pH down, and I use a certain certain number of milliliters based on how much I want to bring it down. And we should say here too that you're using um, you're not using an RO filter, so you have some carbonates mm -hmm. in your solution. So your your solution has a tendency to rise more than it has a tendency to drop. For folks that use say an RO filter, if they're using a really acidic nutrient solution, their pH is going to trend downward naturally. So depending on your your situation, you may have to use an acid addition to lower your pH or you may have to use a base addition to drop it. So um, to do that you use both an EC and a pH meter. Tell us about these. So here I have a, uh, a dual uh, meter that has both. Um, this is a pH probe. It sticks in this little cup. You always want to make sure you keep your uh, probe wet if it dries out. Um, if it dries, it dies, that's what they say. Um, and then we have a EC probe here as well, and this one will also do temperature. And this is a Blue Lab combo meter, um, a high quality, yeah, affordable meter. So for those of you that are uh, managing your, your uh, pH and your EC really aggressively, you're going to be testing as you're, as you're adding nutrients to your system. As you dose your system, you're going to be testing. Um, of course, if you're using an automatic dosing system, it's going to be testing and dosing in real time. So this is kind of all a moot point. But it's still really important to understand the ranges you're shooting for and how the dosing process happens, and especially how uh, we're dosing in response to these variables that we're measuring uh, with our EC or our pH meter. So there you have the basics on testing your solution. Make sure that you're uh, working with an EC range and a pH range that's appropriate to your crop. For more information, check out bayberryfresh.com some of our other YouTube videos. So when it comes to mixing these nutrients, Hayden's going to start mixing here. And what he's going to do is he's going to take the nutrients that he's already basically measured out, he's going to add them to this bucket, and he's going to add water to this bucket. So um, what he does is, is kind of unique. Everyone has their own style of doing this. But he's going to add all of these nutrients, and then uh, as it, they dissolve, he's going to dump off 